Well, I think this school is losing a very valuable teacher. You can tell when somebody loves to teach what they teach, and he definitely loves to teach. I'm going to miss him so much with his constant jokes as students walk down the hallway and accusing boys of walking with different girls. It's going to be hard. I mean, he's been teaching here. I mean, he's taught probably most of the staff here because he's just that kind of guy. I'm sad that he's leaving because he's just always been here and he just should be here. It's just not going to be right without him being at DeQueen High School. So I'm kind of sad. We're real sad about that. We're going to miss him very much. Uh, he's, he's been a very important part of our whole school and we'll miss him very much. Going to miss him. Uh, I was hoping he was going to be here till I got out of here, uh, but I understand, you know, we got to go on and better things await for him, I'm, I'm sure, so uh, I wish him the best. My favorite memory, uh, I've come in for tutoring multiple times in the morning because I don't understand it. So one time I came in before a test and we wrote, I think, one problem down and then had a 45 minute conversation about fishing. So that was, and then I ended up making a 14 on the test, so I thought that was, that was just the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Probably when I would go to the bathroom and he would tell somebody to go turn off the lights. Okay. It'd be like going to his class and just sitting there and just like enjoying his presence and just listening to all his jokes. Very sad. I was looking forward to my senior year with her, having her for 3D art, my last art that I have to take. I'm so sad, but I'm also very happy for her that she's going to get to enjoy a good retirement. She's going to get to work on her pottery and just enjoy more time with her family and friends. It's kind of sad. I really liked her as a teacher. She was always really nice to me. Um... My favorite memory with Miss Calder would have to be the uh, week I came back from getting my finger cut up in the chicken house seed line. She owns chicken houses, and as soon as I walked into her classroom, told her what happened. She just turned white as a ghost, freaking out, asking if I was okay and all that stuff. I have a lot of favorite memories. Um, I would say my favorite is just knowing that I can go across the hall and ask for help and parental advice. Uh, I really liked graduation. I gave her a hug, but we used to organize her classroom all the time and I helped her pack up. Um, we've been together 23 years. This is my 23rd year. and. Um, Anyway, I was going to go out three more years myself, and I was hoping he was going to be here uh, to see me go out. But anyway, uh, he's going on to bigger, better things, and I wish him nothing but the best. I feel uh, sad that he's going to be leaving. He has always been a very supportive principal um, and a very kind principal and understanding. And he uh, was always there to boost us when we needed it or give us the support we need, so he will definitely be missed. When we're going to miss him, it's going to be weird not having him here. Um, however, I do wish him the best. I hope that what's coming in his future is a very positive experience for him, but uh, we're going to feel his absence, so anyway, buena suerte. I Good luck to him. The one that stands out most right now is when he first became principal, he made me move classrooms. Uh, to a whole other side of the building and I was so mad that I was having to move classrooms but it turned out to be one of the best moves because it put me in my department and I got to build some lasting relationships with uh, fellow teachers of my subject so he actually knew what he was doing was best I just didn't know it at the time. Uh, my favorite memory is when he walks around with the bonus check so we got two of those this year so yeah I do appreciate that I'm gonna miss that for sure. He taught me eighth grade math when I was in eighth grade. He's old.